I have high profile 300 cc silicone implants. Give a shout out to wealthy college kid. A wealthy college kid. A wealthy college kid. A wealthy college kid. And Christiana. 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 Hurt. So guys, welcome back to my channel. As always, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you know when my videos are up or whatever. And then follow me on Instagram, on my personal page. If you like me as a human and if you want to see me go live or just like talking to me. That, my anyway. face really itches because I'm outside and I have allergies. But, so I have my boob job two years going on three years now. So I got my boobs done in 2017, April 23rd. I have high profile 300 cc silicone implants so I paid $5,100 I did pay like that upfront cash whatever you want to call it um, for my chest or debit card but I did not use care credit now my opinion on care credit is do not use it do not use it the interest rate is stupid high and you have to remember that cosmetic surgery is not needed it's not a 100% necessity it's really like choice it's kind of like teeth whitening like you're not gonna die if you don't have it um, I just don't think that it's like you know necessary to use care credit or credit in general or credit card to get plastic surgery done so I actually am gonna show you guys a video I actually filmed um, the night before my augmentation um, okay so this is actually the night before my last appointment before my surgery it's exactly seven days before my surgery so exactly why i'm getting a breast augmentation basically i have wanted it since high school it's been like something that i've constantly talked about it's been something that i've constantly wanted i've just never either had the funds to do it or took the final step to really pay a deposit and do it majority of the reason is because i actually hate how there's like just a really large gap between my boobs um it's just always bothered me and then plus I can't wear body suits or any type of low cut, low cut clothes because it just looks weird. It makes me feel like I look like a boy. And then what makes it even worse is I used to have larger boobs and then I lost a lot of weight. So it actually got even worse. So I just finally, now that I've been making money and I've successfully generated income stably, I made the final step. To so it just so made more sense for me to get an implant that would fit for my skin and my body type. I'm really, really small. I'm actually um, 94 pounds, five foot, barely. On a good day, a lot of people would argue that I'm 4'11", 4 4'12", 4 whatever the case may be. But I did want that over the top look, but not necessarily like, unnat like unnatural for my body type. Like the type of implant that, okay, she has implants, but not the type of implant that's like, what did you do type of thing. So I actually go in the morning, for my blood work and my final check um, check in and then we just go over my surgery day and it's literally exactly one week from today so I'm super super excited my, I went in at 7 a.m. and I was home and in bed by like 11 a.m. it was really really chill coming out of anesthesia was really really chill I was just mad cold and I was actually just home for about a week about a week and then I drove myself but I really wasn't doing any like lifting with my arms I wasn't lifting groceries or like anything for like 30 days and you have to wear a bra preferably a sports bra for eight weeks so I wore a bra and slept in a bra for literally two months to the point where now I can't not wear a sports bra or not wear a bra it just feels like weird to me I do have these lovely scars now the reason that I have these scars is because I scar really easily so I actually like keloided which is like not normal it's just like I scar really easily so that's why I have that um my boobs have kind of like fallen to like their natural placement so like a lot of people can't tell that I have fake boobs because they just look normal like they just look normal at this point um now the thing about boob jobs is your first boob job is not going to be your last boob job I can't stress that enough your first boob job is not going to be your last boob job now why because you're going to gain weight like when I got my boobs done I was 92 pounds I'm weighing in around 106 107 now so I'm already like damn I want bigger boobs. <laughs> I want the biggest that my skin would allow me. I'm actually only 11 centimeters um, from like width, like I'm 11 centimeters. So they didn't let me go any bigger than 300 cc's. But now that I've gained some weight, so I could probably go up, um, go up to like 350, 400 cc's. The max I think is like 650, which is like. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I could probably go up like 100 cc's if I really wanted to. But weight gain, babies, things like that, obviously, and why people go and get their boobs done again because you know these are silicone implants. Now mine are under the muscle. Yes, you can get yours over the muscle. Do they recommend that? Never. I've never heard a doctor, and I went to about four or five different doctors before settling in on this one. So I don't think any doctor would ever recommend you know putting it over the muscle unless you have like a condition that it has to be over the muscle. Biggest thing like don't go back to work pay in full like your doctor says sit down for two weeks sit down for two weeks otherwise your implants aren't gonna like settle in the way that they're supposed to like they have to settle into your body so like the way that mine fell to be like natural if that makes sense like if you look like they hang naturally but they're not like hanging if that makes sense I don't know they sit like not normal boobs <laughs> like, um, the reason is because I didn't do anything crazy for them to like shift or like fall it's just like you know what i mean you gotta let that happen normally um use vitamin ear serum to like loosen and like lighten those marks underneath i don't keep up with it um i should keep up with it but i don't um besides that do research on your doctor make sure you know he's doing girls that are you know your size and body weight like my doctor did a lot of girls that were under 5'5 five five, so that's why i went to him um because most of the girls ha they look the way that i wanted to look like not fake, not over the top, anything like that. But just make sure you do research on your doctor. Don't go to a doctor because of hype. Don't go out of the country, in my opinion, for a boob job. I just don't think that, you know, Colombia or Dominican Republic, you have to go out there for a boob job because it's not like super, super expensive to get done. Now, if you're somebody who's getting like a breast lift because you've had a child, now I did not need a breast lift. Now, probably next time they're probably gonna tax me and hit me with a breast lift because I've had boobs. But it's called like a breast lift with a implant exchange so you have to pay for the implants and the breast lift so that would probably run me like twelve eighteen thousand dollars depending on the doctor um where just a strand standard boob job never been touched before is going to be about five grand now um saline is water now the reason i did not do that is just because i wanted a more natural feeling and my skin is very like thin and scars really easily so saline for me would have looked like ripply on my skin texture like on my skin if that makes sense that's what i was told so i didn't do saline don't go like if you're a stripper getting a boob job don't go back to work bro like your shit's gonna look so fucked up when i worked at wing house there was a girl that came back to work like a week and a half after her boob job and her boobs looked trash one was like this like it just looked really really fucking bad like don't be that girl like if you can't afford to take a strong two to three weeks off work do not get a boob job you're in no position to do it because all that's gonna happen is you're gonna fuck up the work it's just like getting a bbl or liposuction then getting pregnant you're literally wasting your money like literally wasting your money but um, yeah, somewhere in this video you guys got to see my befores um i know i was way way tinier way way like just different in every way so let me know what you guys think if you are thinking about getting a boob job and you just want to talk to me about it go ahead and hit me on instagram on my personal page if you want to learn how you can fund your boob job go over here to my business page ah! um and make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and bye